In the seventh month, Ishmael the son of Nethaniah, son of Elishama, of the royal family, one of the chief officers of the king, came with ten men to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam at Mizpah. As they ate bread together there at Mizpah, Ishmael the son of Nethaniah and the ten men with him rose up and struck down Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, with the sword, and killed him, whom the king of Babylon had appointed governor in the land. Ishmael also struck down all the Judeans who were with Gedaliah at Mizpah, and the Chaldean soldiers who happened to be there. On the day after the murder of Gedaliah, before anyone knew of it, eighty men arrived from Shechem and Shiloh and Samaria, with their beards shaved and their clothes torn, and their bodies gashed, bringing grain offerings and incense to present at the temple of the Lord. And Ishmael the son of Nethaniah came out from Mizpah to meet them, weeping as he came. As he met them, he said to them, Come in to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam. When they came into the city, Ishmael the son of Nethaniah and the men with him slaughtered them and cast them into a cistern. But there were ten men among them who said to Ishmael, Do not put us to death, for we have stores of wheat, barley, oil, and honey hidden in the fields. So he refrained and did, and did not put them to death with their companions. Now the cistern into which Ishmael had thrown all the bodies of men whom he had struck down along with Gedaliah was the large cistern that King Asa had made for defense against Basha, king of Israel. Ishmael the son of Nethaniah filled it with the slain. Then Ishmael took captive all the rest of the people who were in Mizpah, the king's daughters and all the people who were left at Mizpah, whom Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had committed to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam. Ishmael the son of Nethaniah took them captive and set out to cross over to the Ammonites. But when Johanan the son of Kareah and all the leaders of the forces with him heard of all the evil that Ishmael the son of Nethaniah had done, they took all their men and went to fight against Ishmael the son of Nethaniah. They came upon him at the great pool that is in Gibeon. And when all the people who were with Ishmael saw Johanan the son of Kareah and all the leaders of the forces with him, they rejoiced. So all the people whom Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah turned around and came back and went to Johanan the son of Kareah. But Ishmael the son of Nethaniah escaped from Johanan with eight men and went to the Ammonites. Then Johanan the son of Kareah and all the leaders of the forces with him took from Mizpah all the rest of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael the son of Nethaniah, after he had struck down Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, soldiers, women, children, and eunuchs, whom Johanan brought back from Gibeon. And they went and stayed at Geruth Chimham near Bethlehem, intending to go to Egypt because of the Chaldeans. For they were afraid of them, because Ishmael the son of Nethaniah had struck down Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. Then all the commanders of the forces and Johanan the son of Kareah, and Jezaniah the son of Hoziah, and all the people from the least to the greatest, came near and said to Jeremiah the prophet, Let our plea for mercy come before you, and pray to the Lord your God for us, for all this remnant, because we are left with but a few, as your eyes see us, that the Lord your God may show us the way we should go, and the thing that we should do. Jeremiah the prophet said to them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray to the Lord your God according to your request, and whatever the Lord answers you, I will tell you. I will keep nothing back from you. 
Then they said to Jeremiah, May the Lord be a true and faithful witness against us if we do not act according to all the word with which the Lord your God sends to us. Whether it is good or bad, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God to whom we are sending you, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. At the end of ten days the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, then he summoned Johanan the son of Kareah and all the commanders of the forces who were with him and all the people from, least, from the least to the greatest and said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, to whom you sent me to present your plea for mercy before him. If you will remain in this land, then I will build you up and not pull you down. I will plant you and not pluck you up. For I relent of the disaster that I did to you. Do not fear the king of Babylon, of whom you are afraid. Do not fear him, declares the Lord, for I am with you, to save you and to deliver you from his hand. I will grant you mercy, that he may have mercy on you and let you remain in your own land. But if you say, We will not remain in this land, disobeying the voice of the Lord your God and saying, No, we will go to the land of Egypt, where we shall not see war or hear the sound of the trumpet or be hungry for bread, and we will dwell there. Then hear the word of the Lord, O remnant of Judah. Then hear the word of the Lord, O remnant of Judah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, if you set your faces to enter Egypt and go to live there, then the sword that you fear shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt, and the famine of which you are afraid shall follow close after you to Egypt, and there you shall die. All the men who set their faces to go to Egypt to live there shall die by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence. They shall have no remnant or survivor from the disaster that I will bring upon them. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, As my anger and my wrath were poured out on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so my wrath will be poured out on you when you go to Egypt. You shall become an, ex you shall become an execration, a horror, a curse, and a taunt. You shall see this place no more. The Lord has said to you, O remnant of Judah, do not go to Egypt. Know for a certainty that I have warned you this day that you have gone astray at the cost of your lives. For you sent me to the Lord your God, saying, Pray for us to the Lord our God, and whatever the Lord our God says, declare to us, and we will do it. And I have this day declared it to you, but you have not obeyed the voice of the Lord your God in anything that he sent me to tell you. Now therefore know for a certainty that you shall die by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence in the place where you desire to go to live. When Jeremiah finished speaking to all the people all these words of the Lord their God, with which the Lord their God had sent him to them, Azariah the son of Hosiah, and Johanan the son of Kareah, and all the insolent men said to Jeremiah, You are telling a lie. The Lord our God did not send you to say, Do not go to Egypt to live there, but Baruch the son of Neriah has set you against us, to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans, that they may kill us or take us into exile in Babylon. So Johanan the son of Kerea and all their command So Johanan the son of Kerea and all the commanders of the forces and all the people did not obey the voice of the Lord to remain in the land of Judah But Johanan the son of Kerea and all the commanders of the forces took all the remnant of Judah who had returned to live in the land of Judah from all the nations to which they had been driven But Johanan the son of Kerea 
and all the commanders of the forces took all the remnant of Judah who had returned to live in the land of Judah from all the nations to which they had been driven, the men, the women, the children, the princesses, and every person whom ne Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had left with Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, also Jeremiah the prophet and Baruch the son of Neriah. And they came into the land of Egypt, for they did not obey the voice of the Lord. And they arrived at Tapanes. Tapanes. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah at Tapanes. Take in your hands large stones and hide them in the mortar in the pavement that is at the entrance to Pharaoh's place at Tapanes, in the sight of the men of Judah, and say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and take Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon, my servant, and I will set his throne above these stones that I have hidden, and he will spread his royal canopy over them. He shall come and strike the land of Egypt, giving over to, to the pestilence those who are doomed to the pestilence, to captivity those who are doomed to captivity, and to the sword those who are doomed to the sword. I shall kindle a fire in the temples of the gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them and carry them away captive. And he shall clean the land of Egypt as a shepherd cleans his cloak of vermin, and he shall go away from there in peace. He shall break the obelisks of Heliopolis, which is in the land of Egypt, and the temples of the gods of Egypt he shall burn with fire. The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Judeans who lived in the land of Egypt, at Migdal, at Tapanes, at Memphis, and in the land of Pathros. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, You have seen all the disaster that I brought upon Jerusalem and upon all the cities of Judah. Behold, this day they are a desolation, and no one dwells in them, because of the evil that they committed, provoking me to anger in that they went to make offerings and serve other gods that they knew not, neither they, nor you, nor your fathers. Yet I persistently sent to you all my servants the prophets, saying, Oh, do not do this abomination that I hate. But they did not listen or incline their ear, to turn from their evil and make no offerings to other gods. Therefore my wrath and my anger were poured out and kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they became a waste and a desolation, as at this day. And now thus says the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, Why do you commit this great evil against yourselves, to cut off from you man and woman, infant and child, from the midst of Judah, leaving you no remnant? Why do you provoke me to anger with the works of your hands, making offerings to other gods in the land of Egypt where you have come to live, so that you may be cut off and become a curse and a taunt among all the nations of the earth? Have you forgotten the evil of your fathers, the evil of the kings of Judah, the evil of their wives, your own evil, and the evil of your wives? Have you forgotten the evil of your fathers, the evil of the kings of Judah, the evil of their wives, your own evil, and the evil of your wives, which they committed in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? They have not humbled themselves even to this day, nor have they feared, nor walked in my law and my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers. Therefore thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for harm, to cut off all Judah. I will take the remnant of Judah who have set their faces to come to the land of Egypt to live, and they shall all be consumed. In the land of Egypt they shall fall, 
by the sword and by famine they shall be consumed. From the least to the greatest they shall die by the sword and by famine, and they shall become an oath, a horror, a curse, and a taunt. I will punish those who dwell in the land of Egypt, as I have punished Jerusalem, with the sword, with famine, and with pestilence, so that none of the remnant of Judah who have come to live in the land of Egypt shall escape or survive or return to the land of Judah, to which they desire to return to dwell there. For they shall not return, except some fugitives. Then all the men who knew that their wives had made offerings to other gods, and all the women who stood by, a great assembly, all the people who lived in Pathros in the land of Egypt, answered Jeremiah, As for the word that you have spoken to us in the name of the Lord, we will not listen to you, but we will do everything that we have vowed, make offerings to the Queen of Heaven, and pour out drink offerings to her, as we did, both we and our fathers, our kings and our officials, in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then we had plenty of food, and prospered, and saw no disaster. But since we left off making offerings to the Queen of Heaven and pouring out drink offerings to her, we have lacked everything and have been consumed by the sword and by famine. And the women said, When we made offerings to the Queen of Heaven and poured out drink offerings to her, was it without our husband's approval that we made cakes for her bearing her image and poured out drink offerings to her? Then Jeremiah said to all the people, men and women, all the people who had given him this answer, As for the offerings that you offered in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, you and your fathers, your kings and your officials, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them? Did it not come into his mind? The Lord could no longer bear your evil deeds and the abominations that you committed. Therefore your land has become a desolation and a waste and a curse, without inhabitant, as it is this day. It is because you made offerings and because you sinned against the Lord and did not obey the voice of the Lord or walk in His law and in His statutes and in His testimonies that this disaster has happened to you as at this day. Jeremiah said to all the people and all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all you of Judah who are in the land of Egypt. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, You and your wives have declared with your mouths, and have fulfilled it with your hands, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have made, to make offerings to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings to her. Then confirm your vows and perform your vows. Therefore hear the word of the Lord, all you of Judah who dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, says the Lord, that my name shall no more be invoked by the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying, As the Lord God lives. Behold, I am watching over them for disaster and not for good. All the men of Judah who are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by famine until there is an end of them. And those who escape the sword shall return from the land of Egypt to the land of Judah, few in number. And all the remnant of Judah who came to the land of Egypt to live shall know whose word will stand, mine or theirs. This shall be the sign to you, declares the Lord, that I will punish you in this place, in order that you may know that my words will surely stand against you for harm. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaoh Hophra king of Egypt into the hand of his enemies and into the hand of those who seek his life, as I gave Zedekiah king of Judah into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, who was his enemy and sought his life. 
the word that Jeremiah the prophet spoke to Baruch the son of Neriah, when he wrote these words in a book at the dictation of Jeremiah, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah, king of Judah. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, to you, O Baruch. You said, Woe is me, for the Lord has added sorrow to my pain. I am weary with my groaning, and I find no rest. Thus shall you say to him, Thus says the Lord, Behold, what I have built I am breaking down, and what I have planted I am plucking up, that is, the whole land. And do you seek great things for yourself? Seek them not, for behold, I am bringing disaster upon all flesh, declares the Lord. But I will give you your life as a prize of war in all places to which you may go. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the nations, about Egypt, concerning the army of Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, which was by the river Euphrates at Carchemish, and which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon defeated in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. Prepare buckler and shield, and advance for battle. Harness the horses, mount, O horsemen. Take your stations with your helmets, polish your spears, put on your armor. Why have I seen it? They are dismayed and have turned backward. Their warriors are beaten down and have fled in haste. They look not back, terror on every side, declares the Lord. The swift cannot flee away, nor the warrior escape. In the north by the river Euphrates they have stumbled and fallen. Who is this, rising like the Nile, like rivers whose waters surge? Egypt rises like the Nile, like rivers whose waters surge. He said, I will rise, I will cover the earth, I will destroy cities and their inhabitants. Advance, O horses, and rage, O chariots. Let the warriors go out, men of Cush and Put, who handle the shield, men of Lud, skilled in handling the bow, that day is the day of the Lord God of hosts, a day of vengeance, to avenge himself on his foes. The sword shall devour and be sated and drink its fill of their blood. For the Lord God of hosts holds a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Go up to Gilead and take balm, O virgin daughter of Israel. Go up to Gilead and take balm, O virgin daughter of Egypt. In vain you have used many medicines, there is no healing for you. The nations have heard of your shame, and the earth is full of your cry. For warrior has stumbled against warrior, they have both fallen together. The word that the Lord spoke to Jeremiah the prophet about the coming of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon to strike the land of Egypt. Declare in Egypt, and proclaim in Migdal, proclaim in Memphis and Tapanes. Say, Stand ready and be prepared, for the sword shall devour around you. Why are your mighty ones face down? They do not stand because the Lord thrust them down. He made many stumble, and they fell, and they said to one another, Arise! And let us go back to our own people and to the land of our birth, because of the sword of the oppressor. Call the name of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, noisy one who lets the hour go by. As I live, declares the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts, like Tabor among the mountains and like Carmel by the sea, shall one come. Prepare yourselves baggage for exile, O inhabitants of Egypt. For Memphis, for Memphis shall become a waste, a ruin without inhabitant. A beautiful heifer is Egypt, but a biting fly from the north has come upon her. Even her hired soldiers in her midst are like fattened calves. 
Yes, they have turned and fled together. They did not stand. For the day of their calamity has come upon them, the time of their punishment. She makes a sound like a serpent gliding away, for her enemies march in force and come against her with axes, like those who fell trees. They shall cut down her forest, declares the Lord, though it is impenetrable, because they are more numerous than locusts, they are without number. The daughter of Egypt shall be put to shame. She shall be delivered into the hand of a people from the north. The Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, said, Behold, I am bringing punishment upon Ammon of Thebes, and Pharaoh and Egypt and her gods and her kings, upon Pharaoh and those who trust in him. I will deliver them into the hand of those who seek their life, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and his officers. Afterward Egypt shall be inhabited as in the days of old, declares the Lord. But fear not, O Jacob my servant, nor be dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save you from far away, and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and have quiet and ease, and none shall make him afraid. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, declares the Lord, for I am with you. I will make a full end of all the nations to which I have driven you, but of you I will not make a full end. I will discipline you in just measure, and I will by no means leave you unpunished. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the Philistines before Pharaoh struck down Gaza. Thus says the Lord, Behold, waters are rising out of the north, and shall become an overflowing torrent. They shall overflow the land and all that fills it, the city and those who dwell in it. Men shall cry out, and every inhabitant of the land shall wail. At the noise of the stamping of the hoofs of his stallions, at the rushing of his chariots, at the rumbling of their wheels. The fathers look not back to their children, so feeble are their hands, because of the day that is coming to destroy all the Philistines, to cut off from Tyre and Sidon every helper that remains. For the Lord is destroying the Philistines, the remnant of the coastland of Kaphtor. Baldness has come upon Gaza, Ashkelon has perished. O remnant of their valley, how long will you gash yourselves? Ah, sword of the Lord, how long till you are quiet? Put yourself into your scabbard, rest and be still. How can it be quiet when the Lord has given it a charge? Against Ashkelon and against the seashore he has appointed it. Concerning Moab, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Woe to Nabo, for it is laid waste. Kiriathame is put to shame, it is taken. The fortress is put to shame and broken down. The renown of Moab is no more. In Heshbon they plan disaster against her. Come, let us cut her off from being a nation. You also, O madmen, shall be brought to silence, the sword shall pursue you. A voice, a cry from Heronaim, desolation and great destruction. Moab is destroyed, her little ones have made a cry. For at the ascent of Luhith they go up weeping. For at the descent of Heronaim they have heard the distressed cry of destruction. Flee, save yourselves. You will be like a juniper in the desert. For, because you trusted in your works and your treasures, you also shall be taken, and Chemosh shall go into exile with his priests and his officials. The destroyer shall come upon every city, and no city shall escape. The, va the valley shall perish, and the plain shall be destroyed, as the Lord has spoken. 
Give wings to Moab, for she would fly away. Her cities shall become a desolation, with no inhabitant in them. Cursed is he who does the work of the Lord with slackness, and cursed is he who keeps back his sword from bloodshed. Moab has been at ease from his youth and has settled on his dregs. He has not been emptied from vessel to vessel, nor has he gone into exile. So his taste remains in him, and his scent is not changed. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I shall send to him pourers who will pour him, and empty his vessels, and break his jars in pieces. Then Moab shall be ashamed of Chemosh, as the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel, their confidence. How do you say, We are heroes and mighty men of war? The destroyer of Moab and his cities has come up, and the choicest of his young men have gone down to slaughter, declares the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. The calamity of Moab is near at hand, and his affliction hastens swiftly. Grieve for him, all you who are around him, and all who know his name. Say, How the mighty scepter is broken, the glorious staff. Come down from your glory, and sit on the parched ground, O inhabitant of Dibon. For the destroyer of Moab has come up against you, he has destroyed he has destroyed your strongholds stand by the way and watch o inhabitant of aurora ask him who flees and her who escapes say what has happened moab is put to shame for it is broken wail and cry tell it beside the arnon that moab is laid waste Judgment has come upon the tableland, upon Holon, and Jaza, and Mephath, and Dibon, and Nabo, and Beth Diblathame, and Kiriathaim, and Beth Gamul, and Beth Maon, and Kiriath, and Bozra, and all the cities of the land of Moab, far and near. The horn of Moab is cut off and his arm is broken, declares the Lord. Make him drunk, because he magnified himself against the Lord, so that Moab shall wallow in his vomit, and he too shall be held in derision. Was not Israel a derision to you? Was he found among thieves, that whenever you spoke of him you wagged your head? Leave the cities, and dwell in the rock, O inhabitants of Moab, be like the dove that nests in the sides of the mouth of a gorge. We have heard of the pride of Moab, he is very proud, of his loftiness, his pride, and his arrogance, and the haughtiness of his heart. I know his insolence, declares the Lord, his boasts are false, his deeds are false. Therefore I will wail. Therefore I will wail for Moab, I cry out for all Moab, for the men of Kir Hariseth I mourn. More than for Jazer I weep for you, O vine of Sibma. Your branches passed over the sea, reached to the sea of Jazer. On your summer fruits and your grapes the destroyer has fallen. Gladness and joy have been taken away from the fruitful land of Moab. I have made the wine cease from the wine presses. No one treads them with shouts of joy. The shouting is not the shout of joy. From the outcry at Heshbon even to Eliela, as far as Jahaz they utter his voice. From Zoar to Haronaim and Eglath Shelishiah, for the waters of Nimrim have from the waters of Nimrim also have become desolate. For the waters of Nimrim also have become desolate, and I will bring to an end in Moab, declares the Lord, 
him who offers sacrifice in the high place and makes offerings to his God. Therefore my heart moans for Moab like a flute, and my heart moans like a flute for the men of Kir Hareseth. Therefore the riches they gained have perished. For every head is shaved and every beard cut off, on all the hands are gashes, and around the waist is sackcloth. On all the housetops of Moab and in the squares there is nothing but lamentation, for I have broken Moab like a vessel for which no one cares, declares the Lord. How it is broken, how they wail, how Moab has turned his back in shame, so Moab has become a derision and a horror to all that are around him. For thus says the Lord, Behold, one shall fly swiftly like an eagle and spread his wings against Moab. The cities shall be taken and the strongholds seized. The heart of the warriors of Moab shall be in that day like the heart of a woman in her birth pains. Moab shall be destroyed and be no longer a people, because he magnified himself against the Lord. Terror, pit, and snare are before you, O inhabitant of Moab, declares the Lord. He who flees from the terror shall fall into the pit, and he who climbs out of the pit shall be caught in the snare. For I will bring these things upon Moab, the year of their punishment declares the Lord. In the shadow of Heshbon, fugitives stop without strength, for fire came out from Heshbon, flame from the house of Sihon. It has destroyed the forehead of Moab, the crown of the sons of Tumult. Woe to you, O Moab! The people of Chemosh are undone, for your sons have been taken captive, and your daughters into captivity. Yet I will restore the fortunes of Moab in the latter days, declares the Lord. Thus far is the judgment on Moab. Concerning the Ammonites, thus says the Lord, Has Israel no sons? Has he no heir? Why then has Milcom dispossessed Gad, and his people settled in its cities? Therefore, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will cause the battle cry to be heard against Rabbah of the Ammonites. It shall become a desolate mound, and its villages shall be burned with fire. Then Israel shall dispossess those who dispossessed him, says the Lord. Wail, O Heshbon, for I is laid waste. Cry out, O daughters of Reba. Put on sackcloth, Lament, and run to and fro among the hedges. For, Mil for Milcom shall go into exile with his priests and his officials. Why do you boast of your valleys, O faithless daughter, who trusted in her treasures, saying, Who will come against me? Behold, I will bring terror upon you, declares the Lord God of hosts, from all who are around you, and you shall be driven out every man straight before him, with none to gather the fugitives. But afterward I will restore the fortunes of the Ammonites, declares the Lord. Concerning Edom, thus says the Lord of hosts, Is wisdom no more in Teman? Has counsel perished from the prudent? Has their wisdom vanished? Flee, turn back, dwell in the depths, O inhabitants of Dadan. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time when I punish him. If grape gatherers came to you, would they not leave gleanings? If thieves came by night, would they not destroy only enough for themselves? But I have stripped Esau bare, I have uncovered his hiding places, and he is not able to conceal himself. His children are destroyed, and his brothers, and his neighbors, and he is no more. Leave your fatherless children, I will keep them alive, and let your widows trust in me. For thus says the Lord, 
If those who did not deserve to drink the cup must drink it, will you go unpunished? You shall not go unpunished, but you must drink. For I have sworn by myself, declares the Lord, that Bozrah shall become a horror, a taunt, a waste, and a curse, and all her cities shall be perpetual wastes. I have heard a message from the Lord, and an envoy has been sent among the nations. Gather yourselves together and come against her, and rise up for battle. For behold, I will make you small among the nations, despised among mankind. The horror you inspire has deceived you, and the pride of your heart, you who live in the clefts of the rock, who hold the height of the hill. Though you make your nest as high as the eagles, I will bring you down from there, declares the Lord. Edom shall become a horror. Everyone who passes by it will be horrified and will hiss because of all its disasters. As when Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring cities were overthrown, says the Lord, no man shall dwell there, no man shall sojourn in her. Behold, like a lion coming up from the jungle of the Jordan against a perennial pasture, I will suddenly make him run away from her, and I will appoint over her whomever I choose. For who is like me? Who will summon me? What shepherds can stand before me? Therefore hear the plan that the Lord has made against Edom and the purposes that he has formed against the inhabitants of Taman. Even the little ones of the flocks shall be dragged away. Surely their fold shall be appalled at their fate. At the sound of their fall the earth shall tremble. The sound of their cry shall be heard at the Red Sea. Behold, one shall mount up and fly swiftly like an eagle and spread his wings against Bozrah, and the heart of the warriors of Edom shall be in that day like the heart of a woman in her birth pains. Concerning Damascus Hamath and Arpad are confounded, for they have heard bad news. They melt in fear. They are troubled like the sea that cannot be quiet. Damascus has become feeble, she turned to flee, and panic seized her. Anguish and sorrows have taken hold of her, as of a woman in labor. How is the famous city not forsaken, the city of my joy? Therefore her young men shall fall in her squares, and all her soldiers shall be destroyed in that day, declares the Lord of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall devour the strongholds of Ben-Hadad. Concerning Kedar and the kingdoms of Hazor that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon struck down, thus says the Lord, Rise up, advance against Kedar, destroy the people of the east, their tents and their flocks shall be taken, their curtains and all their gods, their tents and their flocks shall be taken, their curtains and all their goods. Their camels shall be led away from them, and men shall cry to them, terror on every side. Flee, wander far away, dwell in the depths, O inhabitants of Hazor, declares the Lord. For Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon has made a plan against you and formed a purpose against you. Rise up, advance against a nation at ease, that dwells securely, declares the Lord, that has no gates or bars, that dwells alone. Their camels shall become plunder, their herds of livestock a spoil. I will scatter to every wind those who cut the corners of their hair, and I will bring their calamity from every side of them, declares the Lord. Hazor shall become a haunt of jackals, an everlasting waste. No man shall dwell there, no man shall sojourn in her. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning Elam, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, 
I will break the bow of Elam, the mainstay of their might. And I will bring upon Elam the four winds from the four quarters of heaven. And I will scatter them to all those winds, and there shall be no nation to which those driven out of Elam shall come. I will terrify Elam before their enemies and before those who seek their life. I will bring disaster upon them, my fierce anger, declares the Lord. I will send the sword after them until I have consumed them, and I will set my throne in Elam and destroy their king and officials, declares the Lord. But in the latter days I will restore the fortunes of Elam, declares the Lord. The word that the Lord spoke concerning Babylon, concerning the land of the Chaldeans, by Jeremiah the prophet, Declare among the nations and proclaim, set up a banner and proclaim, conceal it not and say, Babylon is taken, Bel is put to shame, Meridach is dismayed, her images are put to shame, her idols are dismayed. For out of the north a nation has come up against her, which shall make her land a desolation, and none shall dwell in it. Both man and beast shall flee away. In those days and in that time, declares the Lord, the people of Israel and the people of Judah shall come together, weeping as they come, and they shall seek the Lord their God. They shall ask the way to Zion, with faces turned toward it, saying, Come, let us join ourselves to the Lord in an everlasting covenant that will never be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have led them astray, turning them away on the mountains. From mountain to hill they have gone. They have forgotten their fold. All who found them have devoured them, and their enemies have said, We are not guilty, for they have sinned against the Lord. Their habitation of righteousness, the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Flee from the midst of Babylon, and go out of the land of the Chaldeans, and be as male goats before the flock. For behold, I am stirring up and bringing against Babylon a gathering of great nations from the north country. And they shall array themselves against her. From there she shall be taken. Their arrows are like a skilled warrior who does not return empty-handed. Chaldea shall be plundered. All who plunder her shall be sated, declares the Lord. Though you rejoice, though you exult, O plunderers of my heritage, though you frolic like a heifer in the pasture, and neigh like stallions, your mother shall be utterly shamed, and she who bore you shall be disgraced. Behold, she shall be the last of the nations, a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord, she shall not be inhabited, but shall be in utter desolation. Everyone who passes by Babylon shall be appalled, and hiss because of all her wounds. Set yourselves in array against Babylon all around, all you who bend the bow. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. Raise a shout against her all around. She has surrendered. Her bulwarks have fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For this is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance on her. Do to her as she has done. Cut off from Babylon the sower and the one who handles the sickle in time of harvest. Because of the sword of her because of the sword of the oppressor, every one shall turn to his own people, and every one shall flee to his own land. Israel is a hunted sheep driven away by lions. First the king of Assyria devoured him, and now at last Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has gnawed his bones. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Behold, I am bringing punishment on the king of Babylon and his land, 
as I punished the king of Assyria. I will restore Israel to his pasture, and he shall feed on Carmel and in Bashan, and his desires shall be satisfied on the hills of Ephraim and in Gilead. In those days and in that time, declares the Lord, iniquity shall be sought in Israel, and there shall be none, and sin in Judah, and none shall be found, for I will pardon those whom I leave as a remnant. Go up against the land of Merathame, and against the inhabitants of Pekod, kill and devote them to destruction, declares the Lord, and do all that I have commanded you. The noise of battle is in the land, and great destruction. How the hammer of the whole earth is cut down and broken. How Babylon has become a horror among the nations. I set a snare for you, and you were taken, O Babylon, and you did not know it. You were, fought and you were found and caught, because you opposed the Lord. The Lord has opened his armory and brought out the weapons of his wrath. For the Lord God of hosts has a work to do in the land of the Chaldeans. Come against her from every quarter, open her granaries, pile her up like heaps of grain, and devote her to destruction. Let nothing be left of her. Kill all her bulls, let them go down to the slaughter. Woe to them! For their day has come, the time of their punishment. A voice, they flee and escape the A voice, they flee and escape from the land of Babylon, to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, vengeance for his temple. Summon archers against Babylon, all those who bend the bow. Encamp around her, let no one escape. Repay her according to her deeds, do to her according to all that she has done. For she has proudly defied the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. Therefore her young men shall fall in her squares, and all her soldiers shall be destroyed on that day, declares the Lord. Behold, I am against you, O proud one, declares the Lord God of hosts, for your day has come the time when I will punish you. The proud one shall stumble and fall, with none to raise him up, and I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it will devour all that is around him. Thus says the Lord of hosts, The people of Israel are oppressed, and the people of Judah with them. All who took them captive have held them fast, they refuse to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong, the Lord of hosts is his name. He will surely plead their cause, that he may give rest to the earth, but unrest to the inhabitants of Babylon. A sword against the Chaldeans, declares the Lord, and against the inhabitants of Babylon, and against her officials and her wise men. A sword against the diviners, that they may become fools a sword against her warriors, that they may be destroyed, a sword against her horses and against her chariots, and against all the foreign troops in her midst, that they may become women, a sword against all her treasures, that they may be plundered, a drought against her waters, that they may be dried up, for it is a land of images, and they are mad over idols. Therefore wild beasts shall dwell with hyenas in Babylon, and ostriches shall dwell in her. She shall never again have people, nor be inhabited for all generations. As when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring cities, declares the Lord, so no man shall dwell there, and no son of man shall sojourn in her. Behold, a people comes from the north, a mighty nation and many kings are stirring from the farthest parts of the earth. They lay hold of bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. The sound of them is like the roaring of the sea. 
they ride on horses, arrayed as, as a man for battle. The sound of them is like the roaring of the sea. They ride on horses, arrayed as a man for battle against you, O daughter of Babylon. The king of Babylon heard the report of them, and his hands fell helpless. Anguish seized him, pain as of a woman in labor. Behold, like a lion coming up from the thicket of the Jordan against a perennial pasture, I will suddenly make them run away from her, and I will appoint over her whomever I choose. For who is like me? Who will summon me? What shepherd can stand before me? Therefore hear the plan that the Lord has made against Babylon, and the purposes that he has formed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the little ones of their flock shall be dragged away. Surely their fold shall be appalled at their fate. At the sound of the capture of Babylon, the earth shall tremble, and her cry shall be heard among the nations.